here is the little oranges already starting on the tree for next season. They'll be done around November. So there's the promise of what is to come. So we got mom and dad loaded up this morning and they are headed back, which means we are in the final stretch of my stay here at the park by myself. I really don't feel like I'm by myself. I've met so many friends here, so I'm really excited for this last stretch before I go home. I still plan on having a great time. I will miss them a lot but it's not like I'm by myself. Right here outside my camper, we've got golf carts, we got grills going, we got a band. So no, I'm definitely not alone. Today was one of the last swaps for the season for the ladies clothes. I had a tank top that was now too big because I've lost from an extra large down to a large. So I've been changing out some of my clothing that I brought with me. So I got this very lightweight, cool little cap sleeve shirt, which I thought was really cute. And I got this sleeveless shirt, which I like this collar. I love V-necks, not much into t-shirts. So two for one for a tank top. I thought that was a heck of a deal. So I'm hoping I can go home with a little bit of a tan to start out the season. I'm usually pasty white, so I'm kind of excited that I'm getting a little bit of color, if you can see that. So I'll be starting off the season like that when I get home. I always can find things to motivate me. It seems like they just come to me and I don't even really have to look for them. For instance, I got notified the other day, hey, it's 40 years, are we having a class reunion? Well, I wasn't the president or the vice president, but I took it upon myself to have the class reunion because no one had done it. And so I had a 29 year and holding class reunion. And then everybody said, hey, now are we having one at 30? So I recruited another classmate to help find the venue. And we had one at 29 years, we had one at 30 years, and we had some different people show up to each one, but we had some of the same ones show up to each one. So now it's now uh, being fallen on my shoulders to do the 40th. So I'm in the process of arranging that at the end of the summer, which is another good reason to continue my weight loss journey. So transitioning to the weather down here, I had not thought about how humid it was going to be down here. And I've checked a lot of the areas in the country and it seems like there's a lot of areas that are pretty humid right now. But as a rule, the area I'm in in the Rio Grande Valley is considered a subtropical area and it is humid all the time. Now, I am not one for humidity. My hair doesn't do well with humidity because I have naturally curly hair but it has been 92% humidity, 95% humidity. One morning it was 98% humidity. Over the course of the day, it will drop and sometimes it'll get down to 50% by about four o'clock. But come evening, as soon as that sun falls, it starts going back up again. So that is something you might wanna think about when you're looking for places to winter or looking for places to have a retirement home is the humidity. That's something I never thought about. Another thing I never thought about is there's certain streets in this community that have zero airflow. I take walks all over the east side, the west side. It's a big campus. And there's certain streets you walk on because of the housing, because of the trees there's no airflow whatsoever. Now the lot I'm in has a lot of airflow, so I'm very lucky there. 
but those are some things that you might want to keep in mind if you're looking for some place to stay for a few months. It's a high humidity day, so that means I'm just sitting in here in front of the fan, if you can hear it running, reading, and doing a little bit of sewing. I tried to sit outside, but it's just too damp and muggy. It was, however, decent enough that I could open the screen door for the cat, and he's enjoying that and enjoying the birds. But as far as being outside, it's just really yucky. I did take a little bit of a walk and got that in this morning, but I didn't go too far because I didn't want to get too sweaty for the day. But hopefully it'll lift a little bit after a bit and I'll be able to get out and do the rest of my walk. So I don't get too discouraged when days are like this because I've brought indoor activities to do in case it rains or in case the weather was not good. So I have things I can do inside the camper, so I just consider it one of my rest days. So I'm filming this on St. Patrick's Day, and as you've seen in the past, they have golf cart parades for almost everything. And they're having a parade this afternoon for St. Patrick's Day, and I wanted to share that with you because it's going to go down every street in the park. So let's move outside to our lawn chair, and we'll watch that. I can see the parade lined up, so we're going to get started here in just a bit. Are you Irish? I am a bit Irish, however, I'm not wearing green today, shame on me, but here they come. So I hope you enjoy this little golf cart parade here in the 55 and over park. Well, I guess I lied. I do have green toenails. <laughs> the parade with one of the homes giving out free frozen margaritas. So yeah, it's a little hard to follow that, but these people down here, they know how to have a good time. I know I was only here like a week or so, and there was this loud party going on. People are screaming and yelling and whooping and hollering, and I thought, well, there's some teenagers or some young adults just across the fence that are you know having a party no it's all 
in the park, guys. <laughs> it's in the park. They know how to have a good time. And as you can see, I am nowhere near alone here. <laughs> So one of my new friends that I met at the pool this year was telling me that they've been saying all along, they're not buying anything. They're not buying anything. They're just renting when they come down here in the winters. And a house was for sale right down the street, a trailer. And she said, let's go look at it. And her husband said, I'm not buying anything. I'm not buying anything. And she's like, okay, well, let's just go walk through it just for something to do. They walked through it. She went to a class the next morning for glass blowing. And when she came home, her husband said, I put a bid on it and they took it. And she goes, what? <laughs> she said, we love being here so much that we hate to go home, but we go home because of our grandchildren. We have a routine here. We get up, we have coffee on the front porch. We enjoy sitting out there and watching people walk by and everybody's yelling, hello, how are you today? And then we go in together and we have breakfast and we go to classes and we go to the dances and I go to the pool. And she goes, I know that our kids and grandkids think we're old. I know they are, they think of us as just sitting on the front porch in rockers, but we're not like that when we're down here. We have so much fun. And I already can't wait to come back next year and I go home tomorrow. <laughs> and I said, well, bottle some of this excitement and take it home with you. There's no reason you can't sit on your front porch and drink your coffee at home and enjoy some of those same routines that you've made down here. Maybe you can capture some of the fun and excitement that you have here and take it with you and then bring it back again. That's one of the things that's so great down here. Everybody has found their youth again without the audience of kids and grandkids and they're all having a blast. Right now there's a big party down the street with all the St. Patrick's Day people that were in the parade. There were dogs dressed up. There were men in kilts. I don't know if you can see all of that, but they're having a ball. So don't let the next stage of your life keep you from living this one. Get excited. Find things that you can be excited about and bottle that and keep it for yourself and then share it with others. Thanks for watching today and I hope you have a great day.